Hey folks, it's Pliskin by 51mm and today I'm going to do a video on my new M14 30820 rounder magazine. It's a national, or not national, it's a uh, military surplus, what I meant to say. Military surplus magazine. I uh, bought it from the Sportsman Guide about a week ago. And they informed me on my Gmail that they were going to ship it today, or ship it Wednesday or Thursday. And today is Wednesday, so it got here on Wednesday. Didn't have to wait till tomorrow. Let's get this bad boy out and look at it. Hmm, he's soaked in Cosmoline, as you can see. Uh, let's see, there are no noticeable markings on it at all. Nothing on the floor plate down here, and nothing on the back. Hmm, let's wipe him down and see how he fits in the rifle. So wipe him down and see how he'll fit in the gun. Wipe the old Cosmoline off of him. Bought this from the Sportsman Guide for $15. That's shipping included. Now I would like to note that this magazine in comparison to the checkmate that I have sitting here is loaded. I always keep it loaded in case something were to happen and I needed to throw it in the rifle. Uh, I'd like to make a comparison that between the two this one is like almost a gray and it's a little bit bigger too oddly. A little bit longer. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool if they sent me a 25 rounder? Let's see what it says. It says 20 rounder. 20 rounds. <laughs> this must be. Must be something with it. I don't know. Because it doesn't have no markings on the floor plate or on the back here. Or front or sides. It doesn't say nothing. So I can't tell what company made it or what nation it hails from. Because you gotta remember the Chinese there for a while were, uh, or well, are still making M14 rifles. We just can't get them because they're Norinco, which sucks. Because they came out with a 762x39M1A that takes AK47 magazines. So I, I think that would be pretty cool. It'd be like a Ruger Mini 30 on steroids. Alright, I think I wiped off enough Cosmoline on him. Let's take this little 10 rounder out of here. This is the one that came with the rifle. As you can see, I've used it quite frequently. It's got wear marks all over it. Not a bad little uh, magazine for when you're not wanting to go out and have your 20 rounder and you're just kind of wanting to do some target shooting. Don't don't diss the 10 rounders. They're nice and actually I kind of need it for this rifle to be legal to deer hunt with Because even though in the state of Indiana, you're able to legally own 20 rounders I can have as many 20 rounders and bigger as I want. I can't deer hunt with them Because the new law states that you're only allowed to have 10 rounds of ammunition and a 10 round magazine for deer hunting Which is all right I don't mind that. Alright, let's see how this new puppy fits in there. Mm, he fits pretty nice. Nice and snug. Let's see, he's got a little side wobble. No forward wobble. Uh, side wobble's a little to be expected. Let's see if it will stop the bolt, which it ought to because it had the uh, lip that's on the follower here to push the bolt stop on the other side of the receiver up into the way of the the bolt 
Let's see. Yep. Wow. Not bad. Now let's see how he comes out. Eh, kind of stiff. There, okay. Clicked. Coming out's a little trick, but it always is with all of them. Okay. Alright, so he fits in the rifle, okay. Now let's put some bullets in him and see how the follower acts here. Let's knock some of these. Perfecta 308s. 147 grain full metal jackets out and load them into him. Yep, drop that one. Seven rounds for when there's bumps in the night and the sound of breaking windows. <laughs> there will also be the sound of bolts being racked and bullets being chambered. All right. Seven rounds. I know that's kind of low, but let's see how he'll feed seven rounds. Okay. Wow. In all honesty, this new surplus magazine, putting them bullets down in there is easier than the checkmate. The checkmate, there's kind of some resistance, but with this, it's very easy. That might be a bad thing, too, later on, but we'll find out. That might mean the spring's kind of on the weak spot. Weak side. Well, he fed all seven. Only thing next would be a function test, but it's pouring the rain outside, so I can't. Uh, it'll, we'll have to wait for the range test to see. How uh, how well he feeds, and now there's getting some there's some uh, resistance there pushing that bullet out. All right, Let's see. And that for the follower tilts a little forward, but overall that spring's kind of crunchy. Hear that as opposed to. But all in all, it seems to be a very nice magazine. It's grayer than the other two. See, I put the put them next to each other. It's more gray. These are kind of black, which is all right. I don't care about the coating on a magazine, which is why these are all kind of beat up. This one's got some surface bumps and scratches too. As you can tell, he's been used quite a bit. And he's got some scratches and stuff on him you can't really see. But now that if they get too beat up and they start shining real bad like this, well, uh, some black uh, black paint will fix that problem. But yeah, that's a nice magazine. I'm happy with it. Follower. Now that I've moved it a little bit, feels better. We'll see. We shall see. This might be an original, like from when the M14s were still in production for the military. I still think they kind of are. I'm not really sure on that whole... Uh, thing because I know they brought out some of the retired ones from Vietnam back into military service but I kind of think they probably make some new ones now at least a little bit but yeah uh, this might be from back like in the 
1960s or something type magazine never issued. It said it was a military surplus magazine and there's no markings or anything on it so yep got it from the sportsman guide fifteen dollars very nice I'm happy I will get another one from them here sometime in the near future another one I got three now get two more and I'll have a complete magazine set of uh, five of them yep well that's been my video uh, I do have another video I'm working on uh, I'll upload this one before I upload that one uh, but the other one's been filmed already well naturally but I was out at my grandma's and we was shooting eggs trying to shoot an egg with them 14 I hit I hit two of them uh, that's a lot harder than you'd think it would be but it was fun nonetheless and a challenge so I'll upload that when I get to it but this will come out first yep 20 round magazine from the sportsman guide $15 that's that's shipping included not a bad deal uh, now if I run this on my gun and it does have some jamming issues that'll be obviously because of this magazine because having owned the rifle for two years now, just about two years this this September, and using both of these magazines here, not had a single jam. That was of the rifle's own fault. Uh, any kind of misfeed or jam that I've had with this rifle has been because of me, because I did something like ride the bolt home or not load one in and think that I had loaded one in and. Then it kind of, I had one that it didn't extract one time, but that was because I rolled the bolt home and stuff of that nature. But, but yeah, all uh, jams have been because of me, and that's the God honest truth too. I'm telling you the truth, because if it had jammed like stove piped or something, I would have made a video on it. But uh, if it does jam with this magazine, I'll know it's this magazine and not the gun, because it's run flawlessly with the checkmate in the Springfield. And it's not had a problem with either of those. So, we'll see. Can't wait to get out and test it out. Anyway, this has been Pliskin by 51mm. And I'll see you all in the next video.